So this is our last video for the chapter of ODE. We're going to look into the uh, second order Range Kata method and higher order Range Kata method. So shown here is the um, general equation for Range Kata method. Yi plus 1 equals to Yi plus uh, slope. So you are all familiar with this term. This is a slope or what we call as increment function and h. So this is this looks familiar to you because uh, you have seen the Euler method. Euler method is actually known as the first order Runge Kata method, right? So in this video, we're going to look into the second order and all the higher orders. So this increment function uh, can actually be written as this a1 k1 plus a2 k2 plus uh, so on and so on where a equals to constant and in this case k1 k2 and so forth can be represented with the slope of the uh, points x i y i and k2 is point x i plus p1 h y i plus q uh, 1 1 k1 h and so on so we're gonna look in we're gonna look how are we going to determine all these values of a1 a2 p1 and q11 here Let's move on to the second order Runge Kata method. So this is the formula for the second order. Yi plus 1 equals to Yi plus A1 K1 plus A2 K2 and H. So K1 here is the slope of the point Xi and Yi. And K2 here, this one is K2, this one is K1, is this, in which also given the unknowns a1 plus a2 equals to 1 a2 p1 equals to half and a2 q11 equals to half so we have here three equations one two three three equations but we have four unknowns which is one two three and four okay and then we must assume a value of one of the unknown to determine the other three so we need to assume one of these four unknown is it a1 or a2 p1 or q11 so in order for us to determine the other unknowns so they come up with these three different methods which is the first one a hue method with a single character midpoint or improved polygon method and Ralston method so for the first one hue method with a single character uh, in which we assume a2 equals to half or midpoint in which we assume a2 equals to 1 or Ralston in which we assume a2 equals to 2 third. So let's look at one by one. The first one is the hewn method with a single character in which we assume a2 equals to half. So if we assume a2 equals to half, a1 we can... Um, directly solve for a1 which is half because if you look at this a1 plus a2 equals to 1 and a2 if it is half a1 is half all right and then p1 and q11 is 1 so our equation just now this one this equation here will reduce to this yi plus 1 equals to yi plus half k1 plus half k2 times h. So this is the slope here. And k1 here is fxi yi and k2 here is fxi plus h yi plus k1 h. Where do I get these two? From here. From here. You just substitute all the values of p1 and q11 and so on into that equation so we, we will solve for k1 and k2 so once we got all the k1 and k2 um, we can work out what is the slope so you're going to need this three equation to solve if you are using second order Runge Kata method with your method with a single character and the next one is we call it midpoint method in which we have to assume the unknown a2 equals to 1 if we assume a2 equals to 1 
um, because we know that uh, a1 plus a2 equals to 1 just now. So if we assume a2 here equals to 1, which is 1, so a1 we will get 0 here. And once we solve for a1 and a2, we can solve for what is p1 and q11 because here, okay, still we are at this stage. It ha we have all the unknowns. A2, P1 equals to half. A2, K11 equals to half. Alright. And then, the equation for the midpoint method, uh, second order Runge kata method, we will, uh, we will get this formula here to calculate for the new value of Y. Yi plus 1 equals to Yi plus K2H, in which K2 here, can be calculated using this formula, this one. So K1 is just simply the slope for x i y i, the initial condition. So K2 is the slope for uh, the point x i plus half h and y i plus half K1 h. Don't forget here. In the second order, Rangi kata method. Don't forget K1 here and K2. Okay, gonna use this. And this and this to solve for midpoint uh, second order Rangi Kata method. Okay, moving on to uh, Ralston method in which we assume A2 equals to 2 thirds. So the formula just now A1 plus A2 equals to 1. So A1 plus 2 thirds equals to 1. And we got A1 equals to 1 third. So when we solve for A1 and we will directly so for P1 and Q11, so we can uh, reduce the, uh, the general equation for the RQ method just now in, into this equation in which uh, K1 is just simply the slope of the previous point or the initial condition and K2 is just uh, simply the K2 equals to this slope for this point. So this is Raston method, second order RK. So let's look at example here. Comparison of various second order of RK method. Use second order RK method of Hune's, Midpoint and Raston's to integrate this uh, ODE from x equals to 0 to x equals to 4 using a step size of 0.5 Initial condition at x equals to 0, uh, given here, when x equals to 0, y equals to 1.0. So for the first method here, the Hune method, in which a2 equals to half. Uh, so we don't have to calculate again what is a1, a2, uh, p1, q11 here, because we can uh, directly use all the equations that we have uh, solved before. So this is uh, the calculation of k1, which is the slope for fx, i, y, i. So you just calculate the slope for this point, 0 and 1 here, 0 and 1, by substituting this 0 and 1 into this slope equation, so we get 8.5. So for K2, this is the formula for the slope. First of all, you need to work out what is the value of Xi, which is Xi plus H. So Xi plus H here means this one, 0 plus 0 0.5. So you will get 0 0.5. So the, the y point is yi plus k1h. So yi is 1.0. 1.0. We are talking about this one, right? 1.0 plus k1h. k1 in this case is 8.5. And h is 0 0.5. Solving this, you will get 5. 0.25. So you just substitute this uh, new data point into the slope equation. You will get 1.25 for k2. So substitute the k1 and k2 into the Hune's method equation. Um, you need to solve for the new slope. 1.2 uh, times 8.5 plus 1 over half that times 1.25. So times 0 0.5 and this you will get 3.4375 and then 
Uh, so given here the um, true value or the true error, sorry, the true error for this solution is 6.8%. So the next one is midpoint method in which A2 equals to 1. So first of all, we need to calculate all the K values, the K1 and K2. You just follow the same procedure just now. It's just that you use different point. So for K2, for midpoint, this is the X point you use and this is the Y point. And just substitute all the new x and y value is in the slope equation you will get 4.21875 and then substitute the k2 value into the general equation of the rk method you will get 3.109375 so you can see that um, the true error is reduced into 3.4 percent and then you can try for all the other ralston the next Rustin method you can try on your own and you can see that um, if you make a comparison this is the first order RK method or just a simple Euler method okay and this is the analytical or the true solution uh, the point here this is huge and the circle one is midpoint and this one is Ralston. You can see that the Ralston is more accurate compared to the Hewn and the midpoint and definitely compared to the first order RK method. Okay, let's look at the next one which is third order RK method. So this is the equation to calculate the uh, new value of Y using the third order. And this one we have K1, we have K2, and we have another extra K3 because this is third order. So this is formula for K1, this is formula for the slope of K2, and this is the formula for the slope of K3. So you just do the same thing all over again. Calculate the slope for this point, calculate the slope for this, and calculate the slope for this, and just substitute all the slope value into this equation. You substitute H, substitute your uh, YI, and then you will get your YI plus 1, which is very, very simple. Next is fourth order RK method, and this is actually the most popular Rangi Kata method, and known as the classical fourth order RK method. So this is, a lot of people use this method in their um, algorithm, in the any any software that they build if they need to use RK method they will definitely use the fourth order uh, series okay so this is the equation yi plus 1 equals to yi plus 1 over 6 here don't forget the 1 over 6 so we have four k's now k1 k2 k3 and k4 and these are the formulas for all the k's all right so you just calculate the slope for k1 k2 k3 and k4 and you need to identify their x and y first. Then only you can calculate their slope. Once you got all the four slopes, substitute into this equation. And you will solve for your yi plus 1. There is no need to do any iteration at all. And for the higher order RK method, uh, this is the equation. Which is fifth order RK method. But um, I, this is not very popular. Okay, We are more into the fourth order. Alright, so that's all for the RK method. Thank you so much for watching.